shit rises. It's the base for making items over seasons with the mind and black is teasing with my pastors. Pretty girl, she think I'm handsome. Just coasting through these matches. I'm not bossing, I'm advancing. I'm up. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Turn to be on before below. Wanna be intimate with so it explode this war before I go. Uh. And that's some hours in my face. Wait, now it's like worth a 10k all cause it is. Insane in the membrane since them days where we raved for three days and four nights and took them red eye flights, hopped straight off the plane and threw the visor off the place. Then the head down stage, they were like, See the crowd going air, they were like, So I stepped down. Raised by some Zulu lions, taught to seek dangers, uh Brave and defiance, boy, the Lord was doing favors, uh Blaze through the fire, yeah, we had a few, had a few Lost a few wages, mm. Still coming rampant, misbehaving, misbehaving EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air Today, after a topsy-turvy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here, as it'll be the Tennessee Titans taking on the Indianapolis Colts The final week into the summer. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are as we are off and running on EA Sports. Now this is going to be returned from the back line of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Richardson going right to the air. Throw taken in by Taylor, left side. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, they use him a lot out of the backfield. He had five catches a week ago, and he makes another catch here for good yardage. So from the 26-yard line, here's second down at a yard. Rick, Rick. They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Four yards to pick up, first down. The Colts at 1-0 on the year following the win in week one. And they were able to get that road victory in the opener. Now they look to get to 2-0 in front of the home crowd. And look, any road win in the NFL, that's huge. But when you do it week one, that gets you pointed in the right direction and sends notice to the rest of the league that you mean business. Back to Taylor on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You talk about this Titan defense. They've been pretty solid against the pass. Toward the middle of the pack, number 14 in the NFL. And for all the routes to keep an eye on in this one, they've got to find a way to take away the crossing routes. Those are the ones that when a receiver catches it on the run, those can really hurt a defense. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. Now it's Richardson. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. They need 18 yards here on third down. Richardson to throw off play action. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's going to be out up around the 45 yard line. How about that? They weathered the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe tapping, and drag it to make sure he gets it done. Dragon 60. 
First and 10, Richardson looks to throw it. To the right side, complete to Taylor. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. on the edge. On the Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Trap 60, trap 60. Now Richardson. They'll check this one down to Taylor. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Another nice game, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. First and 10, here's Richardson with it. This is caught. Touchdown, Colts! Jerry Woods. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Colts are on the board first here this afternoon. Good throw there. And I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. You can tell he put the work in in the offseason. And what I mean by that is understanding the playbook. Not just the plays and how to execute them, but how to do it against a variety of defenses. Also understands his team better, what they can and cannot do. You can see the confidence rising in him as he plays. An extra point by Gain is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. To the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. First and 10 now, Willis and the Titans. At their own 17-yard line. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he'll lose yardage here. Back to the 15. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Part of their struggles last week was getting these negative plays on first and second down. That's something they have to be wary of as this game continues. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. To throw, here's Willis. A short throw taken in by Conquo. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready. And no way to run for Willis. He goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Uh, fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse signed a punt. The deep to return is Josh Downs. 
And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this punt goes out of bounds, and it'll be marked inside the 40. at the line and set to go now, early on you know Charles every game could be called a measuring stick game but I think when it comes within your division like this it's a measuring stick game with a little extra intrigue I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them but I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season it has that little extra juice but at the same time it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. Okay, second down and four. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. You talk about this Titan defense. They're a unit that struggled some against the run, no doubt, coming in 25th out of 32 teams. I always think back to what my defensive coordinator in college used to tell me. Playing against the run is 11 individual battles, man on man, and are you going to win that battle? Are you going to whip the guy across from you and get to the ball carrier, wrap him up and put him on the ground? Because the one thing he absolutely detested was yards after contact. Tackle him, put him down on the spot. And Richardson slides down after evading the defense, and he moves the chains. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. and oh. Here's first and 10. Richardson going to change the play here. First and 10, Taylor now. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second down at six now from the 42. Richardson off the play fake. That's to the tight end, Mallory. And yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. First and 10, it's Richardson. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Second and 10. 18 Rattler, 18 Rattler. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. On second down, it's Richardson to throw it. He's into space past the 25. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. 19 yards there on the catch and run. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. 
And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. But sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion, and I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw a defensive end right in his face because he looked up and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance to get going. Richardson now on second down. And a quick throw here, that's complete. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring us to a third and four. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it up field. And the Colts are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they gave themselves options there on the third down play and were able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. Go, Reed! Go! Ready! It's a loss of a yard there and now second down kept it in his hands and tried to push it across the goal line himself, but the defensive front wouldn't allow him to do so, bringing up second down and a bit farther. Let's go now. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Hey, Smash! Play action. Now Richardson. Blitz coming! Brought down by multiple defenders, and it's a loss of 12. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense, so the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. Ready, set. They need to reverse the trend. The last two plays have gone backwards. Now it's third and goal. Richardson looking to throw. Steps away to his left. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, talk about throwing a wrench into the works. It certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. Matt Gay now gets ready for the field goal try. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And Gay knocks this one through. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they set up for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. Nothing for him yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Takes us across the 15 to the 17. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. Here now a third down at eight. Willis. and now brings up fourth down. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now, standing just outside his own goal line.
That'll go as a 46-yard punt with a return of seven. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and ten. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off three, a little bit more three. than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Now a give to Taylor. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Here comes third down at seven. Go street. Seven pirates. Seven pirates. Ready. They go play action with Richardson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to be out of bounds, but now before he takes it inside the 40. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. But things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick it down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. Now a handoff, Taylor with it, powering forward, able to push his way through. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Decided to hit it off that time on the run-pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision, just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Two yards to go, second down. Off play action, Richardson. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. 18 Cardinal, 18 Cardinal. Here's Richardson to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Give him six yards in the first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. 19 tight. 19 tight. Really in motion, the tight end. Richards into the air on first down. The toss here completed to Pittman. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Here's a second and five. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. Back to the air with Richardson. That is incomplete. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. Let's go. 
They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Yeah, Richardson back to throw it. And that is caught. Touchdown. Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor as the first half is winding down. And the Colts will extend their lead here just before halftime. Well, this offensive unit, yeah, they were solid in the opening week victory, and now they are looking just as sharp here in week two. And that's exactly what you want, too, because you want to get better each and every week and really ramp up as the season goes on. I know it's still early in the season and a lot can happen, but this offense, they look like they're going to be fun to watch each and every time out. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. Titans offense set to begin the drive. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. And Henry's hit. He lost the football. And this ball recovered by the offense. But remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead. And it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. Welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. A very one-sided first half, 17-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. We'll see, Charles, if they had a chance to hit the reset button at halftime. They have not scored. They're facing this big deficit. And if they're going to come back, it's going to have to start right now. Yeah, and for them, it's not dwelling in the negative because, yes, they were totally ineffective in the first half. But we've seen many games that have flipped around in the second half. It all starts with this drive right here. They get something good going, put some points on the board. They begin to have hope. Second down throw coming by Willis. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. Let's go now. To throw, here's Willis. Flush to his right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Shaquille Leonard in there to drop him for a loss on the play. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there, she's going to add to their come growing on, frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three score game, third quarter, three and out. Not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Give him 16 yards there, a Tennessee first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. A nice burst there as he'll get about seven that time on the first down run. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Now second and three. Willis looking to throw it. 
Throw left side complete. That's Hopkins. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 25-yard line. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. That grab another career milestone for him. 900 career catches now. All right, the applause is beginning, right? The applause is going on. That puts him just outside the top 20 all-time in the NFL. Next in his sights at 9.03, Wes Welker. Rarified air. Now a first down run is going nowhere. He's going to be dropped in the backfield, a loss of two. I think it's pretty evident. We can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? He did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That To me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points, and the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. On the ball, on the ball, now, now. Third down, it's Willis. He's got his target. That's complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've had their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw and nice work after the throw. And they're set up now for the first and goal. Henry, and this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. A loss of two there, second down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. They'll give Henry another shot. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Another modest gain there on that one. And I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, haven't they, partner? Because they have to be... And this time he is in! Yes. Derrick Henry, his first rushing touchdown of the year. And the Titans are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. And that's a step in the right direction. This had the feeling of one of those turning point kind of drives. If you come up empty there, it could be a long road back. But they persevered and hung around, and they closed the gap here in the third quarter with their first touchdown of the game. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that'll cut the lead to 17-7. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And he's going to be out of bounds on the return. Not a great return. They'll start back around the 17. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. And you can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime and sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Let's go. Second down, another run with Taylor. 
And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. It's pretty easy to overlook the fullback when you're making your assignments defensively in the pass coverage game, but in this case, they made them pay for that oversight and picks up a nice game. From the 35, back to work on second and four. In motion right, one of the tight ends. Back to throw, here's Richardson. Into a double team and it's intercepted. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll try and get the run game going. This is Henry. And he's able to break out a run tackle, but then quickly brought down. Tackle made by Zaire Franklin. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. From the 35, here's second down and eight. Play action, Willis. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position there. A squander the third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Willis now off play action. That is caught. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. Ray Hopkins. A gain of 15. First down, Tennessee. here on first and 10 and he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16 yard line and Juju Brents comes up for the stop we have played three quarters you're watching the NFL on EA Sports back now in Indianapolis it's Titan football here as they trail to begin the fourth quarter Second and six. Willis looks to pass it here. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Colts are going to get the football back at their own 17. But here in the fourth quarter, defensively, you know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive backs and say, okay, take your best shot. And that time, it's intercepted. And we've often seen teams go into the prevent early, way too early, and sometimes they get too soft in their coverages. But not in this case. They understood the situation and played it with the proper aggression. Ready? The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And he's got Rome. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 
72 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs. And they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Running left, Taylor down to the 42, second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Here we go. From the 42-yard line, here's the second and eight. The tight end in motion right. Second down, here's Richardson. Oh, and that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver. But a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Okay, this offense so far on third down, they've been excellent. Six for seven. This is third and eight. Hurt, hurt. Right there, right there. Hurt. Cut Richardson to throw off play action. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. And in an afternoon where just about everything's gone right, there's an unlikely sight there. He's got a receiver all alone downfield, and he just overshoots him. And this is good. It was running kind of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And that will open the lead up now to 20-7. to seven. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. A big mistake last time they were on the field, tossing that interception inside the red zone and really taking away what had been a pretty successful drive up to that point. Yeah, and I don't think there's any question about it. As they head out on the field for this drive, that whole offensive unit is just thinking redemption. You know, they moved it really well, didn't pay it off. This time, they want to make sure that ball ends up in the end zone, and they're the ones possessing it. Off the play fake, here's Willis. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Samson Abuka able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. I remember throughout my career here, defensive coaches always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. They put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And he'll take this down inside the 15-yard line. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. Man, to put it mildly, we look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Go. 
On the handoff, this is Taylor. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Here's a second and eight. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he stopped immediately there. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just so quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Let's go now. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Ready, ready, hut. Ready, ready. On third down, here's Richardson. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. A 29-yard attempt. Gay's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So all things considered, that's not the final nail, but it does make things exceedingly difficult now on the other side. Yeah, because obviously now with a 16-point game, the other guys don't need just two touchdowns. They need a couple two-point conversions as well. Plus, they'll need either a turnover or an onside kick in there somewhere. So you're just adding to the list of things that need to happen in sequence. And it's going to be a pretty tall order this late in the game. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Come on, come on. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. They'll come up now, second and nine. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. See what they have drawn up here, a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, it's Willis. Got an open man, that's Campbell. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, that was a pretty good time for his first catch of the ball game, and it turned into a huge play as well. He's certainly not been a central part of this passing game so far in this one. But he made his presence felt there. A big pickup on third down. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and ten. Here's Willis. Over the middle, he has a Kakwo. And a six-yard game gets him right around the 43. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move it. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. 
Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. Well, this feels like a late season game, even though it's just week two. Here's a big third down. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. The bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. Well, CD, for the losing side, they had opportunities in this one, but big plays just didn't go their way, especially late, and they have to suffer the L here. Certainly felt like that takeaway, once it happened, it knocked the wind out of their sails, and they just couldn't get their equilibrium back. So for Indianapolis, it's a win here in their home opener as they...